So for today's video, um, I was thinking more about ways in order to help us improve our positive self-talk. It's all kind of just creating an overall positive mindset versus directly, specifically looking at each individual time when we're talking negatively to ourselves. So yeah, I know yesterday I did talk more about the specific times when we're negative about ourselves. And today I'm talking about just more generally trying to keep our mind in a more positive state of mind. There's a couple things that I do uh, already for this, um, which I feel does help um, and has helped. Um, some of these I've talked about in the past. I don't know if I've talked about them on a YouTube channel, but I know I've talked about them in the past in other videos I've made. Um, so one of the things um, it's kind of going together is journaling. Um, so every morning I do journal. And part of what I do in I journal, because I journal two separate times in the morning. Well, it's the same time in the morning, but two separate entries, I guess you can say. One of them is a gratitude journal where I'm literally just being thankful for everything that I have. Um, and then the other journal is more of kind of like a self-reflection, um, kind of like a me venting to myself type of journal. Um, both are very helpful, but I feel like in together combined is very helpful because it's kind of like the venting is kind of like a release of the negativity and then the gratitude is kind of like you know changing my mindset to just being thankful for everything what i don't do is what i should start to do is part of the gratitude journal or even maybe in the venting journal either one i guess i don't know if it matters but having a set aside time of not just being thankful for the things that i have but being uh, conscious of the positive qualities that I do have. It's one thing to just randomly think about them, but it's another thing to actually write them down, thinking about the specific positive or good qualities, characteristics, personality traits, whatever that you do have. Uh, we all have some. Some of us, we might not be able to see them all the time because we do have a negative mindset, but I think to sit there and write down the good things about yourself that you are happy about yourself is going to be one step in the right direction towards just changing an overall positive mindset that along with you know just being grateful for the things that you do have so i kind of consider that one um maybe one or two ways that you can try to help have another have a positive mindset the other one is sort of related to that and i don't really do this one exactly the way that i should as, as well but it's kind of like positive affirmations I don't really sit there in front of a mirror or wherever and start saying like, I am happy, I am this or I'm that, but it's more so um, kind of the same thing, but like internally talking to yourself. So instead of journaling, you can journal too and as well just kind of like think to yourself uh, randomly throughout the day or you can set, some, set aside some time maybe through meditation or whatever to sit there and just um, acknowledge the good qualities that you do have. Um, I think it's just helpful because I feel like, like I said, a lot of times we're our worst critics. We always think negatively or we're so quick to judge ourselves. Um, and so it's a good practice to try to get out of that habit of um, negative self-talk. Now, I will say this, though. That's not to say that we shouldn't be self-aware and that we should just give ourselves excuses for the stuff that we do that is maybe incorrect or, or, or harmful to yourself or other people. I'm not saying that. We should always be self-aware. Um, observant to the things that we need to work on that's a separate case but also even when we're talking about the things that we need to work on not to necessarily see those as like negative traits but just things that we need to work on so kind of even in comparison to what i talked about yesterday it's all kind of encompassing the same kind of you know overall mindset just generally being more positive and thinking of the things that we are uh, good at the things that we're happy about with ourselves um, no matter what those things are well hopefully no matter what those things are um, and that's my pretty much my two cents for that like I said in my other videos once again I'm not an expert at this it's something that I'm learning and growing and trying to improve on uh, day to day um, and honestly seeing other people uh, there's a couple of people one of them actually is a client of mine that have I've talked to today about that he really um, inspires me to um, I always say, be like you when I grow up, <laughs> although I'm older than him, which is funny. But um, just being able to take a negative situation and turning it into a positive situation, uh, trying to make the best out of every situation, I think that's a very positive or a very uh, good quality to have, which I'm trying to get better at. And I think even just this in terms of positive self-talk 
helps with that. Um, so that was my little tangent for the day. Hopefully that was beneficial. And so until the next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.